Twitter. Hey, hey. GM Sonic, how are you doing this morning, Sonic? Oh, man, I I had to get my pump-up video. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Feel feel completely energized and refreshed. That's good, dude. I'm glad to hear it. How'd you get your fresh? How'd you how'd you how'd you feel so energized? How'd you make this pump happen for you? How'd you make it work for you, Drac? What'd you do? Well, I started by calling the Philly Associates, got the market mater, my meat market maters, yeah. market makers whipped in the shape, called BlackRock, you know, just called everybody and said, guys, it's time. Stop messing around. We need six digit Bitcoin. It's time. Oh. So luckily everyone cooperated. We're really close. I mean, we're so close, right? Look at that. Mm-hmm. Look at that thing. Hawk to a hawk two on that thing. Look how close we are, dude. I know. And look, look they they let it go to like ninety nine thousand five hundred and sixteen. They just couldn't, you know. Had to give a little tease there. Oh, oh, look how close it is, dude! And what's gonna happen when that hits a hundred thousand? We all get paid ten grand. Yeah, so it hits a hundred thousand. Every holder gets ten grand. That was, wow, that was part of the deal. Everybody <laughs> gets up to the yeah. Satoshi's wallet. <laughs> yeah, that's still kind of what I'm waiting for. Is when Satoshi actually just says, "This is just a giant airdrop for everybody." Yeah, I've been wanting to get this Bitcoin airdrop for a good long while. Um, because as far as I know, every legit project has an airdrop, and Bitcoin he is was, the most legit of the last time I talked to him, he was still tweaking the point system. Yeah, because he's trying to get the Zeely Dash print thing worked out, mm-hmm. you know, um, where you like and retweet and all that stuff. Um, so you gotta earn points, of course. I mean, that's just part of the game now, right? So yeah, you need to, or else you're not legit. I wonder but, how well I mean this will change China. This is going to change China forever when he does that airdrop to the Bitcoin miners. <laughs> yeah. And uh, actually, um, we got funeral today. Excited about that. He's going to go over the Devil's Lounge, which is a new game they've launched. But funeral made a pretty apt comment before we went live, which was, "You look like a football coach right now." Me? Yeah, you look like you should be like coaching the Dolphins or something right now. That's a great hell of a compliment. You think I get respect with this little kitten on my shirt? A little angel kitten on my shirt? You think they like that? Make them catch and throw the ball a little bit better? That's right. It's like I a, am kind of like a football. I'm kind of like I'm kind of like your crypto coach. I know there's a guy, like dozens of guys out there with that as their handle, but I'm kind of your real crypto coach, you know? That's so what you I should say, change your handle to and uh start doing like the good YouTube videos with like the thumbnails where they're like, Oh yeah. You know, I took a bunch of two hundred thousand. I actually took a bunch of pictures making dumbass faces at the camera to do that. So you might see some soon. Uh, we fed them into an AI model, so I don't have to keep making the faces. Yeah. Coach yeah, I want to say get out there. Hawk to a bit on that thing. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm Look how old I am, dude. That meme is dead, dude. No one cares about that anymore. The new one, the new one over Hawk 2 is, what's the new What's the new meme right now, Drake? Um, chill guy, right? Chill, chill goggles or something like that? Yeah, you're just a chill guy. Uh, I could have sworn that they were like, there probably are like 15 derivative meme tokens launched now, though. Chill guy oh, with goggles, sure. chill guy twerking. Yeah, I think there was already a uh, like a girl version. There was all kinds of stuff. Chill you know? girl. Um, yeah, that's so corny, dude. But yeah, I mean, not much I got to say about the Bitcoin chart, really. I mean, it it speaks for itself. It won't stop. It's going um, job mode. Yeah, definitely on God mode. I wouldn't mind looking at dominance just because uh, we discussed this on like another show about, you know, how alts and Ethereum and everything else just typically don't truly run until like Bitcoin dominance kind of like chills out. So I'm seeing two different things in my chart. I see people saying one, they're saying just wait, just wait until Bitcoin dominance falls and the rotation happens. Ethereum's going to go to 10 grand overnight. Solana is going to go to like a thousand dollars in 15 minutes. All your alts are going to 100 X. And then I see people saying that this cycle is different, Dracula. This cycle is different. And it's and because of the ETFs, it's not going to rotate. And you are just going to sit here looking like dipshits. I, it? I kind of like... I agree with the sentiment that I think this run is going to be different. I do believe Bitcoin. I mean, if you look at it anyway, Bitcoin's already dominated 
the last however many months of price action and everything mm-hmm. else. I think it's going to continue to do that. But I still think we're going to have that moment where Bitcoin's going to finally settle. People got money. They're ready to find the next Bitcoin type move. They're going to, you know, that's how retail comes in. I'm looking here at the 2021 when everything ripped. So 70%, that looks like the magic number right now. When Bitcoin hit 70%, it finally settled and alts and everything else started to rip. Well, right we now we're at 60, way to go. Yeah, we're we're at 60%, which honestly is crazy right now. Not crazy considering price action, but I mean, it hasn't been over 60% in 3 4 years, you know. Mm-hmm. So we're getting there. Um but yeah, I agree. I do think ETFs have changed the game. A lot of things have changed the game. Um and like I said, I one theory I kind of subscribe to is that I think that maybe the euphoric alt rally i think it still happens but i think that maybe it's shorter maybe we don't get that like really long euphoria cycle but we'll see um Mm. but we're still the one thing that i'm insanely bullish on is the price being where it is right now we are like just now hitting that like having effect on the price we have not had the like the administration come in yet that's super pro crypto so i think it's going to be green a long time gensler lost the lawsuit he's saying he's stepping down end of the month the next month things are already starting to move in a positive direction but you know i am concerned i am concerned dracula that you know like people pointing out etfs changing everything because it's like you know what we got to convince michael saylor to get into DeFi now yeah we got to convince saylor to buy my my equal well i will say since we're looking at the chart from what happened in 2021 the exact same thing happened last cycle the exact same thing because at that point we had already had erc20 DeFi summer all that Mm -hmm. stuff and bitcoin made its big move and everybody said alts aren't gonna rally it's over bitcoin uh, and you know no one cares about anything but bitcoin anymore it's over and look what happened after that. I think that we still, I think it's just, I think that part will still play similar. You know, I think it's that Bitcoin. I think we still have a ways to go with Bitcoin. I mean, I think, I mean, granted, we're right here at a hundred. So I'm not really sure what the target is now. Target's you know, we're dollars. entering uncharted territory. So I don't know what the target is for when do we think that Bitcoin is kind of like got its resting place. But I think we get there still. All right. All right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm feeling a little bit more confident. I mean, I'm still holding my Ethereum for whatever reason. I'm still holding my Phantom. I'm still holding my Sonic pre-sale. There you go. I can't even spin them. Phantom is the pre-sale to S. Um, Alex says, one final alt season push until everything gets regulated. Wild West days are over. Yes and no. I think it depends on what happens here in the next year. I mean, you know, they're talking about removing capital gains tax off crypto. So you better believe if that happens. We're like, how long is that going to last? I don't know. But, uh, or does it even happen? I don't know. But we're entering like an era where things could like get pretty wild. But, you know, Gary Gensler stepping down, some people say it's actually a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing, obviously, because he did a bunch of dumb shit. Bad thing, because some people say maybe it is better that the regulations stay murky and nobody can finally just actually make some rules. So you might be right, Alex, you know, they might bring in a guy that says, hey, guess what? I got the rules already. Let's go. And that's a good thing. But it is also, you know, it can be a bad thing as well. Could ruin my life. Now, talk about ruining my life. It's looking like this is a freaking bull flag. Is this what I'm looking at here? There's a bull flag. (laughs) Well, what they call that? We had we. To me, this candle, these two candles make sense because it was really like just one of those situations where it was like bad macro for a couple of days and oh, we've seen the nuclear the, missiles. I forgot. Yeah. About this. Yeah. The intercontinental ballistic missiles don't help the situation, but I'm putting a bounty on Putin's head. Anyone out there could take out Putin, save my chart, save my bag. He's just going to, you're like that guy that got arrested. Um, that was like, you know, I'm going to like single handedly end the war for everybody. You got arrested was, for that, for being no, a bringer of peace. No, that was the guy that um, they arrested outside Mar-a-Lago or whatever. 
that was like on X being like, Hey, Elon Musk, can you sell me some like old missiles? Cause I'm oh. finna I'm finna end the war. Oh, I didn't know about that, dude. That guy sounds cool. He sounds like an American patriot. That's right. Send in coach. Fall yeah, you, send yeah, you in coach. I'll have I'll have Putin running stadiums for about four hours and he'll hit the showers and he's gonna feel like a brand new guy and he's not gonna want to do this crap anymore. Yeah. He's gonna say you changed you changed my life, Coach Corville. We'll Thank see you. how how oh, how much Putin wants to freaking start World War III after about five, ten sets of burpees. Okay. I don't think he's gonna have the energy for it. That's right. Dishes, is wet goggles, world currency. I think that would solve a lot of problems, honestly. I mean, uh, for me, yeah. If we, if we wanted to heal the world, I think that that we could just go with that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, what I was going to say about the chart is, I mean, you know, with all the things happening in the world, we've seen this a million times already, where somebody makes a threat, somebody shoots a missile, somebody sends a drone, whatever, and everybody panics for like a day, and a day or two later, the market were business as usual and that's kind of what i think just happened you know i mean it's actually a big deal you know what happened but i think everybody's just getting a little desensitized now it's like okay you know kind of like that meme with paul rudd where he's like squeezing his eyes and he's like i'm okay yeah um it's like you know it's like putin Putin picks up the phone makes one phone call and alex mason over here gets nervous and and sells ten thousand phantoms i don't know why so he could build a bunker or something i don't know needs a bunker I don't know um, what the correlation is, but he's doing it. <laughs> but but we're in like, you know, we're basically in the same boat as we were earlier in the week. I mean, to me, this is still very much like wind up consolidation. You know, I, I don't know how much longer we're going to stay in this range. We have had this week still no official date for Sonic, but there's been, you know, several tweets from different people on the team being like, guys, like it's not getting pushed back. Um, you know, it's happening in December. Promise it is happening in December. I've said it a million times on the show that Q4 is not a great, you know, not that it's a bad time to launch, but it's just that traditionally stuff's bad about not making that target. But Sonic has been actually finished for so long. I truly think that this has all just been about kind of like the marketing push. And yeah, I mean, we're consolidating here, but I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing things moving up now that people have been reassured like December, it is coming. Audits are done. They posted that. Audits yeah. are done. So that all we got to do is hit the big green. Wait, what What do you do when you got to, when you push something live again? You got to push ma- push to master. Who's waiting to push to master? Push the main. Yeah. Push the main branch. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm using colonial terms for my GitHub. My 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 GitHub Corval's plantation is fucked up, dude. But yeah, I mean, so like I said, you know, Phantom Chart, we're getting a little sideways, a little crabby, but I think that's just kind of part of the deal right now. I mean, all in all, this is the daily, so it's not as long as the Bitcoin, but Bitcoin chart. But you know, to me, this is like this is healthy movement. This is like anticipation. And yeah, like I said, we're with these candles here, we're definitely more like it looks more like a wind up right now. So, Supersonic says FTM will break eighty cents of a giant green candle soon. Yeah, I kind of feel that way. Like I said, it feels like a wind up, and I like playing wind ups because when it goes, when it like starts tightening like this, it's gonna rip one way or the other. Ten thousand dollar twenty x long position isolated liquidity. Yeah, make sure to isolate. Um, but yeah, so I can feel the energy changing. You know, beginning of this week, I feel like there was a lot of, uh, you know, I think people were starting to be like, when, 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 um, you know, starting to feel like the the tide was turning a little bit, people getting a little like, hey, you know, somebody needs to give us a date or something. Um, do we want to take our guesses? We should bring a uh, funeral up and get his guests too. We should do all the guesses at once. Hey, hello, funeral. And also, maybe we should do a game here. Should we, put, should, we, should we put some money on this? Should we put some tokens on this? Should we put an NFT on this? All right. What are we? Uh, I guess like price is right rules. Closest, closest without going past. Yeah. I guess it is kind of hard to make it, you know? Well, because I know the date, actually. It came to me in a dream last night. 
I was playing Silent Hill last night mm. and I kept dreaming I was in Silent Hill. And uh, while I was there, I found a note from, from yeah. Kong and it said, you know, the date. Okay. So I'm pretty confident. Well, yeah. So what's your, what do you think the date is? I think it's going to come out December 24th. <laughs> right before Christmas. All Christmas right. Christmas Eve. I think it's coming out Christmas Eve. Okay. Um, and yeah, for anyone tuning in now, this is not any form of announcement. We are guessing what the, we're, we're just taking guesses and bets on like when Sonic's going to launch. We do not know when it's launching. Is it 12 or no? Flash? You just heard me say what it was. I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> now, Dracula, what's your guess? I'm going to go, I'm going to say like December 7th. I'm going to go a little December earlier. 7th. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. just going to go a little earlier. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you guys should post all of these as different announcement dates. Do not, do not do that. We're trying to, st- we're trying to keep the show going after Sonic happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Peter, what do you got? Are you there? So yeah, I'm here. It's the thirteenth is Friday the thirteenth. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go with that out of uh, personal principle, and not that I actually believe it, but if I, I like were that, to but have you know, a drop, I would do it on an unlucky day. Just for, I don't know, showmanship, showmanship, break a leg and all that. <laughs> I don't know. You know, they say break a leg, but they don't actually want you to break a leg. So if you launch yeah. your bro- blockchain upgrade on Friday the Thirteenth, maybe you'll actually have good luck. Okay, uh, all so right. You, I thought you were saying that because you were saying, you know, like Foundation super unlucky and oblivious. <laughs> She's gonna <laughs> drop it on the Thirteenth, and then they're gonna Michael Myers the chain. Or wait, Michael Myers. <laughs> who's the guy from Friday the 13th? Jason Voorhees. Mm. Michael Myers is also good, though. So, do you have a Michael Myers NFT? No, mm. I Man. don't. All right, sorry. Wasn't anyway. Mainnet for Phantom launched December 2019? They said it was what the 27th of, yeah, I guess 2019 or something, December 27th. But that's I think also that's a, red... a good possibility. I mean, I know Kong said it wasn't specifically the 27th yeah sonic it? sonic turtle might be on to something here oh shit if, if ansem loses do they have to just like wait another week or two if he loses bitboy gets the blockchain actually yeah he they have the to keys. actually they have to transfer ownership of the contracts to bitboy if he wins so you corvall's referee i know that's right yeah, he'll throw it for sure. Don't worry about it. Dude, I hope, man, all our hopes and dreams are resting on Ansem. Well, Dish says he needs it before Christmas or his kids are not getting gifts. So um, do it for Dish's kids, guys. Yeah, do it for Dish's kids. I hope we should get Ansem on the show. I want to I want to talk to that guy. I want to ask him some hard hitting questions. <laughs> you think he's got time with running a media network and all? Maybe, maybe we'll have to see yeah. what we can do there. Um, See if you can hook me up, funeral. I know you know him. I don't. Uh, Just oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but uh, um, let you down. It's yeah, I got uh, I got Devil's Lounge here pulled up. The new the new uh, thing. Funeral. What is the Devil's funeral. Lounge? Are you friends with the Devil? I am. I so I'm so excited to be making the announcement on GM Sonic with the boys. Yes, the sir. new interface is officially live. The mm-hmm. new campaign with Chapter 1 was stealth launched with a thread, but now the idle game is live too. So the full picture is there where if you were all following, we experimented with 404 and dropped the fam. Mm-hmm. And we have built Chapter 1 of the campaign around the familiars. And we're building a story around the idle game. And which is to make sure that you have a nice closed loop ecosystem within the idle game, but you also have context about the items that you're gathering and the resources that you're collecting. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's where a lot of idle games fall short. You're lighting fires, you're collecting items, but maybe you don't know why. So we have a visual novel written fully. Uh, There's more depth. I know I was talking to Drac. He said that there's a little bit more depth to the story than he had anticipated. But as you're going through the story, as your character is interacting with items, you can mint those items. They're 1155 NFTs. And these items actually determine your weight and your yield in the forge where you'll be collecting resources. Mm -hmm. So here's a nice look at the idle game UI and the resources available right now. 
we have in this chapter we've introduced a new item and a new relic the first relic which is the ritual chalk um and the whole point of this these next three chapters is to get us over to sonic <laughs> we have a big vast ecosystem on phantom and you're going to use all those items to perform one last ritual to get your summoner over on the sonic side and that's going to start the new game over mm. there where we'll take a lot of the infrastructure we built and create a new um but also you'll get taken care of with a little lot of the assets but just to wrap up like the initial intro of the game you're going to play these three chapters and you're going to collect the ritual chalk uh, and two other relics and you will need to burn these items to cast the spell uh to get your summoner on the other side on sonic that is awesome um yeah and i mean you've really it is interesting like you know you guys launched the um fam erc 404 and um you know i think people just thought it was like oh like this is just like a fun 404 but it's cool that you guys like tied this like all in together you know yeah it was a bit of experiment thing with the new standard but we wanted to make sure that the character was given a little bit more of a story and the familiars are the result of the dust from the mines in Eden. The first chapter takes you from the Devil's Lounge into Eden where you'll be mining. You'll be following this traveler character uh, through Eden and familiars are your guide. They're going to be guiding you through the game. Um, and we thought it would be really cool for everyone to get their own familiar. In the item shop, there's a lot of items that you interact with the game and everyone kind of has the same item, right? Like everyone has the same briefcase or the same goggles. Um, mm -hmm. But with the familiars, if it is your guide, we wanted to make sure we created a collection uh, with at least a 4,000 supply that was a generative collection so when you were to adopt your familiar you actually got one unique to yourself yeah and here's a little item shop here with um yeah you get some of this stuff along the way and then other things you can you can buy so yeah i, I like the vibe so far though where it's been very like kind of like mysterious you know you're like what is this what would this do what would that do um i went ahead and just pretty much scooped all the items anyway that weren't minted out because a lot of you know Several of them like minted out really fast. You can't even get them. So curious to see how that all ties together. Yeah. And with the item shop, this is our burn mechanic for candles. So as people are getting items in the game and in the item shop, that candle gets burnt. Um, so it helps sustain the economy in that way. And there's also items that are purely cosmetic and items that serve a purpose in the game. So for example, the goggles are currently are cosmetic. Uh, but you, <laughs> you know, if you bought the matches that controlled some numbers in the farm, that means that you had access to control some, uh, APR in the farm and the other items like the key, the briefcase and the apple were what was giving you access to the gated farms mm -hmm. and the initial build. Uh, that is so, crazy. Yeah. So it is a nice system we've built here where you're earning candle in the game, but you're burning candle along the way to collect the items. And you can get a basic briefcase that you'll collect in the game. Or, you know, if you like the stickers on the rare uh, briefcase, you could burn candle to buy a different skin on that as well. Yeah, I mean, um, it's like I said before the show, I was just like kind of blown away at like how much depth there is to it because... Um, you know, I don't do a lot of web three gaming. It's, it's of course getting a lot better. Right. But um, typically it's just been like with the web three stuff. It's like, there was this phase where it was just kind of like, just because somebody made something, it should be like this feat, even though it's like, you know, it's just coin flip or, you know, whatever. So this is cool because this is like actually something I would like mess with, you know? And I mean, like I said, I've already put a lot of time into it, just playing around. I didn't want to give away too much of the campaign, but, you know, basically as the campaign moves, you know, you make decisions and based on your decisions, you, you know, things change in the story or you get certain items. Um, so it's, it's super in depth and um, yeah. So, so far 
it's just that one chapter, but you said the next chapters are coming or they're here right now. They're still coming, right? Yeah. So they are going to result in two more items that you're discovering and you need to burn those items that you find in the chapters to get the NFT for the summoners. Um, though the artwork for those have been leaked in like different telegrams and I've, I definitely share them. So it's a nice complement to the original Scully artwork. So it's a similar style, uh, but it's more anime inspired. The, so these next three chapters, each of them, the goal at the end of the chapter, um, the final step in the chapter is you getting a relic. Uh, and then the, you'll take those three relics, you'll burn them and you'll be minting a summoner on the other side. And then I think that there's going to be a lot of opportunity for people to maybe hold on to some rare uh, relics if, um, you know, if they feel so inclined. And we're going to be submitting the items and the relics onto PaintSwap as well so that there might be a little bit of trading happening. Maybe some people are going to go through and play the three chapters of the game and collect all these relics. Or, you know, maybe they're going to play the market. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I just think that, like I said, it's an interesting approach where you can kind of go either way on that. And yeah, Supersonic says Web3 Gaming is struggling right now due to poor networks. Sonic is here to fix that. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's going to definitely change things for, you know, there is like that meme. We've we've had it on the show before, but there was that meme that someone made about like a, uh, you know, with somebody playing a game and they had like, literally it would like be like two seconds go by. They have to wait for their wallet, hit click, two seconds go by, hit the wallet. Um, so there's going to be a lot of cool things with like, the speed of Sonic and then of course like account abstraction and all that, where you'll be able to, you know, hopefully have like more like kind of like seamless experiences. So um, yeah, definitely looking forward to that, seeing what people come up with and uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And I'm, and I'm stoked you guys are, you know, going to like, kind of like migrate the game to Sonic as well. Um, You know, so do you think you'll like, Will you migrate the existing game or will it be kind of like you start on Phantom and then like the next stuff happens on Sonic? We made the narrative revolve around the fact that we are entering a new plane and we've written this part of the story interdimensionally so that there are going to be separate realms and it will fit the story well. These Dude, three that is cool. chapters yeah. will live on this side. Uh, because it's going to live in purgatory, which is where these three chapters are taking place. And then they're going to go through the gateway after casting this spell, uh, which is going to give you your summoner. But also, we're going to be on Sonic too. So it's it crossing that gateway as well. There is going to be a solve for Candle. We're going to make sure that Candle is brought over to Sonic. And again, when you're collecting these resources, buying these relics, your Scullies, Pop Scullies, and uh, Ghostlies will all pertain and be calculated to what you're earning in the mine. So if you have five Scullies, five Ghostlies, and five Pop Scullies in the wallet that you're using, you're going to get the max yield uh, per uh, epoch. And then, so, I mean, that is kind of our answer to, oh, you know, why do I have all these things? They are <laughs> all helping you get this, these relics and mine resources at a faster rate if you hold them. Yeah, man. I mean, and that's like a cool way to kind of like tie in, you know, that there is like actually some like sort of like there's gaming stuff, but then there's kind of like DeFi stuff. Um, you know, there's collecting stuff. And yeah, it's like I said to you before the show, I was like, I don't know how you guys... I don't know how you like planned all this with everything else you do at the moment. So yeah, man, it's, it's impressive. Thank you. Yeah. It's not possible on any other blockchain. We are building it on Phantom because this is the network. Sonic will just be like that much better. And it's cool to just put stuff out there and see people love it or hate it. I'm glad that everyone is taking to this new approach. It's just, we need more games and someone's going to have to make them. And, you know, I'm uh, I'm derping. I'm keeping my goggles on. But if I see <laughs> this void that exists in this space, it's like, why? Why hasn't someone put the Appalachian Trail on the blockchain? And why? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know that those are the thoughts that uh, hit my mind. And I kind of wait for someone else to do it. And it's like, all right, I will. I'll do it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I mean, especially because like you as an artist, I mean, you've also, I mean, you've made all this art. I mean, on top of the kind of like complicated back end stuff and all the things you can do. I mean, you had to like draw all this stuff and make all this art too. So yeah, man, it's um, it's wild. No AI. Yep. No, I I do. I I understand AI art, and I I think there's a place for it in games because it helps a lot of people uh, put out their good Careful. ideas. Hey, hey, dude. Careful air funeral. Listen, traditional games, you have one artist come in and do the two main frames of a movement, and then you have a bunch of like sub art, like you know, under artists come in and, and do the in between frames. Now it's just like, okay, the artist does the two main poses, and then AI can fill it in. You don't have to hire a, like a bigger team, and you can get your project out. I tr- I totally get that. But for me, I really want to do everything by hand, it, just because it one is the style, this like gritty. It looks like it's made in chalk, uh, mm-hmm. kind of yeah. look. Um, but also, it just was. I don't know. It's something that made it cooler in my brain. I'm like, oh, imagine if we did it all like frame by frame animation. Yeah, I like that. Uh, this is like very Gandalf right here. Yeah. Gandalf pipe. Yeah, the Gandalf pipe was 100 percent the inspo for this pipe right here. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of when I saw it. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a couple Easter eggs. Um, I take inspiration. Uh, from a lot of my influences and I, I call them out like wholeheartedly in like this pipe right here is a shout out to Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings saga just because that is a huge labyrinth of short stories and I want this to kind of be that way where as we continue rolling out these little chapters it's giving you peaks of different corners of the world that we're presenting yeah I liked it uh the herbs you smoke are called hopium that's pretty funny yep Maxis <laughs> wrote that in that's awesome well, yeah, man. Um, like I said, I wanted to show some of the art, but I don't want to give away too much. I mean, you should definitely check it out because, uh, you know, since I've set it up in like chapters and this does have sound, I killed the sound earlier because it was like super loud and funeral was trying to talk, but um, it does have like some nice ambient sound and everything. But yeah, I mean, like, I think you can get through that first chapter in like 30, 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, and no, supersonic, I just saw that as well. I was about to pull that tweet up. So uh saw you guys were on there. So uh We'll check that out. But uh, yeah, man, um, super stoked on this and congrats on it. And if we haven't covered it, I mean, the URL is thedevilslounge.com. So pretty easy to remember. But of course, you can also find that, you know, following funeral or cold NFTs on X. Um, So anything else you want to throw in about it, funeral? Yeah. Uh, And another thing, if you're looking to adopt a fam, or check out what fam are being sold on the market. If you look on the screen right now, there's this section that's called FamX. That's a marketplace that we built uh, so you can buy fam using candle. Um, And you can list your fam too. Like if you just uh, want to hold on to a specific fam and trade it that way. Because when you are selling 404s, you're selling them into liquidity. And if you want to make sure you're holding on to a specific token um this is our solve for that and, yeah i mean uh, this it, is really cool it's like you know haven't even gotten into this where you guys made like a little market for the 404s and i've actually bought some through here because yeah like you're saying it's like i like being able to you know like being able to see which one i'm grabbing right and if you want to just buy a standard one you would have to go to uh, v2 spooky swap um v3 is not handling 404s well at this time but and again you could also just list and and trade on this marketplace so obviously very convenient that we (laughs) launched this but um yeah it's got a way for you to check out what's in your wallet look at what's being listed um and also just send a specific fam to a separate wallet if you don't want to risk selling it into the lp pool yeah and that's nice too to you know be able to just list it as an nft on top of being able to trade it with like a token with liquidity and everything so uh, yeah man like i said extremely the whole thing's extremely impressive and um i everyone should go check out the devil's lounge the devil's lounge.com on phantom will also be uh, continuing on sonic um so yeah man really appreciate you hopping on the chat about it and um we'll definitely have you on when these uh, new chapters get rolling and everything thank you for the platform and for letting me deliver my spiel appreciate you both yeah man and um, thanks for the wonderful game funeral thank you and uh yeah you know funeral at this point i mean could be 
could just be an extra host. I mean, it's uh, always nice to have him on. He's wow. yeah, dude. I think we should add to he, he's 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 like the leader of our rotating cast of of guests. I think we should get some more people in here. We should get Alex Mason in here, dude. <laughs> grab, grab people from the chat. Yeah, start I keep forgetting to set up the call in line. Oh yeah, I, I still wanted to do that like so badly. We were talking about we tried at one show and something happened, but yeah, uh, I love the idea. minutes on my phone, but I love it back by bow, bro. We'll I love the idea. I love the idea of having a call in line though. That's like awesome. Um, so yeah, Supersonic was just in here mentioning Ruby winners of Boom. Uh, like we've said before, you know. Boom program, kind of like a blast gold, blast points, you know, protocols are going to be able to incentivize with their gems to get you to interact. And that all goes towards like increasing your allocation for the airdrop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we got Ruby winners, uh, Supersonic, who's in here right now. Yeah, they are they're freaking psychotic, dude, basically. <laughs> if you check out what their product is, it's insane. 1000x leverage. Oh, I love it. Love to hear that. But yeah. Strike, who I recognize. I think, yeah, they do options. Stability Dow, not super familiar with them. Um, obviously, DJ Express, everybody knows and loves. Um, so congrats to them. And Avalon, which um, I heard a little bit about them, you know, has to do with like wrapped Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin DeFi kind of stuff. Oh. So, um, yeah, I mean, congrats to everybody that won. And uh, yeah, we are, um, I'm pulling up Supersonic since you're here in the chat. I mean, uh, yeah, love to see all this. Futures, Launchpad, Swaps, Automated Liquidity Management. Damn, that would be, uh, that would be glorious. So we'll have to have you guys on the show soon so you can chat. Because I know I've seen you guys kind of like around for a while with like Sonic announcements and stuff. So that would be really cool. But um, yeah, we're kind of wrapping up for today. We'll be back Tuesday. We really appreciate everyone hanging out, commenting in the chat, all that good stuff. Uh, we got a lot, a lot coming, right? So I hope everybody's as excited as we are. Our time has come, Corval. It's here. Yeah, yeah you noobs better be ready to lock in, dude, because guess what? Uh, song's coming probably like so soon, so fast, so much even faster than you believe, probably. Yeah, and we're Definitely. gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to go back and get our. Uh, Get our prediction dates to see who ended up winning. Oh, I took them all down. I took them all down so everyone's locked in. And uh, the winner, whoever is the closest with it, like let's just say whatever the closest date, they're going to win a big prize. Unfortunately, Dracula, Sonic Turtle, and Alex Mason kind of kind of boxed you in, dude. So oh, okay. you better be right on the money. All right. Well, as always, uh, streaming on X, Sonic Talk, YouTube, GM underscore Sonic. Don't put in GM Sonic or you'll see some very questionable Sonic the Hedgehog material unless that's your thing. <laughs> and anywhere you get podcasts, GM Sonic. We'll see you guys Tuesday. Make some news for us to talk about. Let's pump this thing. We're going in the Sonic Valhalla soon. Let's go.